All right, friends, subscribers, and that strangers. This is what it looks like, the before, and I've taken some out already. I've got that much in the trailer already. That's what was in the trailer. That's all the auction stuff, so it stays because I, I reload those tubs. So all this stuff is unlisted. It's got to get out of here, including all those tubs. It's all this unlisted, unlisted, unlisted. It's going to have a spot in the new building. Then we're going to take down all these tubs. They'll go on the table. Probably that one. Not sure yet. Probably that one. Then we're going to bring out the rolling. All that's listed stuff. These shelves come out. So yeah, let's... I'll just do a... <laughs> I'll do a video at each, at each uh let's not forget the other side how bad it is too. yeah this is from the other side alright the tear down of the building begins alright so I misheard it's a 10 by 20 just like the other ones not a 20 by 20 so it changes that a little bit so the thing that's going to change different is yeah we're already starting I gotta get shelves in here so I can figure out where to put stuff when I bring it all right, got that much left to throw in there, and I'm going to go take down a couple shelves. All right, shelves are gone there, gone there, gone there. Metal ones are gone here. We're clearing the two big ones. I that's not Johnny. That's Johnny's twin. I recruited some help. It's been a great help. And, yeah, we still got this and those two shelves to come down. Those are actually staying all right so this is what the 10 by 20 ended up looking like so far all the shelves are in I, i'm going to put a table right here to work from but i think i figure out how to organize all this stuff to the middle vast majority is unlisted so fba here we come but now the now the process will be organizing this stuff and then listing this stuff and getting it out of here let's go look at the other building it's a disaster still all right, so that's all the auction stuff still. All that's going to auction. I left that here because it's all big needs to be listed. Um, so this is where we're at so far. Haven't decided. I've got a table. I'm gonna match. I'm gonna match that table. It won't be the same height, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna work uh, receiving in and shipping out and listing on this side. Uh, still haven't decided whether I'm gonna make all that the. Because, you know, the shipping is right there. Uh, I was thinking about this is in two sections. One would go there and one would go there and make that like a whole shipping corner. Uh, I don't know yet. And then move the TV to the here <laughs> on the side of the step so you could see it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. thought about bringing in. I've got two more sets of shelves. I took out two, but I... My boxes, man, I've got so many of these large boxes. They're just everywhere, and I've got to find something to do with them right, right this second. And so it might be temporary that we put boxes there uh, just just because. And I was thinking about if I didn't put the shelves over here, I would put the desk over here. So if I put the shelves over here, the desk has got to stay <laughs> over there. Let me go sleep on it. If I made you dizzy, sorry about that. Uh, you have to wait until... Just a couple of seconds to see what I figured out. All right, so I'm standing back here at the back door and just showing you there's this side of it here is still a mess. Remember, you couldn't walk through here. There were there were nine foot shelves here and there were no tables here. So I've added the tables. This is everything, a lot of the stuff that was on the other side. And so what does it have in common? Some of it needs to be put up, which has got a space. Um, I have an attic here. So those of you who don't know, there's a fully floored attic upstairs. Some things are going up there. But the rest of it is all unlisted inventory. And instead of moving it back, I left this here as my unlisted. This is my weekend's worth of work. So hopefully by the end of the weekend, I'll make another video and show you. Um, some of the stuff I've done is the listing is a test area as well. So I've got my long power bar. And if you haven't seen the power bar, folks, uh, it's got <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's got 15 outlets on it. Then I Velcroed one to the top that I could use on the other side in case I'm over there doing something. Um, I've got a picture area I've got a clear room for because I've got a photo booth coming 
it's inside it's got to get it and this one over here has usb ports on it and um i, I had to restore that computer so that that's it that's my original macbook first macbook i ever bought 2011 still screams uh i had a question a lot of people have asked too they asked beard why don't you put the tape machine on this side it was always because i didn't have any space and so now that we have space uh, uh this stuff is this stuff is listed it's got to go to the building i just don't have a box or a way to i'm going to transport it over to the building yet so just as well all this is listed uh that's got to get a picture of it so it's going to go around there and this has got office supplies so i didn't have any room over there but i do now so it's going over there so what else does this allow me to do all the shipping's on this side it'll allow me to I'm going to take that drawer out because it takes up too much space. I'm going to put the boxes in here better. I'm going to get some of this inventory out of here now. Uh, that's just an overflow box. It'll go to the other side. It's all my electronic cables and cords. When I find them, I just stick them in there. Um, there's a lot of stuff needs to be listed in there, so I'm going to work through that as well. But you can see the floor, how dirty it is. Um, I moved that thing over. It's, it's about eight inches. So uh, a voicemail just came up. I think the van's ready. Um, which that's great news, which has made a tremendous amount of difference. Just that little bit of space is given more space on this side and not have anything on the floor. I could never get to the trash can. So it's got a spot right here. And the other thing that I couldn't do, I couldn't come around this end at night. I'd always have to go to that end because you couldn't get around this end. The work in progress is over there. That's a set of scaffolding. Uh, I've only used it twice in the last six years. It's going to auction. Um, that's a sign. It's an airport sign. I live by an airport. I'm probably gonna put it on the wall until I sell it. The boxes. I'm gonna put two shelves over there. Okay. Well, I haven't decided. All right. So, so I haven't decided whether I'm gonna put the two shelves over there or if it's gonna be one shelf and one storage unit. So I have a. Okay. The other garage. If you guys are sworn to secrecy, the other garage is gonna be a work. As soon as I finish this one, and really getting a, in a motion to get going through here and get my listings back up and get a, develop a good schedule. We're going to go to the other garage and fix it so we can get two cars in that garage. So this thing, I bought it. I was excited. It doesn't work. So this can be one of my first projects and I'll show you guys how I work through it in a future video. But Franklin, Franklin, back inside, buddy. I can't be chasing your little bones. Come on. You got to go back inside, buddy. If you got lost, your mama would kill us both, buddy. Ah, uh, that's a precious little thing right there. He's only 10 pounds. He will be he will be gone in a... He is so nice. He loves everybody. So this thing, the tra treads don't go up and down. They test fine. They work fine. There's something wrong with the sensor that sends them up and down. And so we're going to move this into the, on the other side, and we're going to tear this apart. That safety key is worth about 20 bucks. That display is worth 100 150 when you got the whole plastic piece. The board under there is worth 150 that pair of treads is worth 150 plus shipping. So are those two uh, shock absorber things. And then there is another computer board down there that's worth at least 150. So the $45 is going to turn into 700, 750 in parts. It's one of the real reasons that I really wanted this building to be functional because I want to be able to do parts. I think parts are the way of the future, especially as we continue to struggle with. And this was the moving eight trips, seven or eight trips, truck full, trailer full to get all that stuff over there to the building uh yeah and for those of you i, I had a video all the vehicles were down i did get, i did get a tire put back on the truck so and now the other van's back so three out of five cars are working all right so we're coming over here this is the decision i've got to make so i bought this at a yard sale for i think 30 dollars it's never been put together it's an armoire but it's 48 inches wide so that's what four foot so do i do i put this in the building and then get one of those two shelves for boxes and i'm gonna put all the all the huge boxes on one of those two shelves or do i take both those shelves to the building put this together and leave that in here with all that stuff in it uh okay so let's look truth all right so you know i try to tell you guys <laughs> try to be honest with you guys and that decision is not going to be mine um the lovely wife of what however long we've been married uh if we met before a lot of y'all were born <laughs> in 1988 so yeah that's a long time i'm gonna give her the choice um does she 
because her car is coming in here. That's the big thing is we want the top on the convertible leak, so it needs to stay in here so it doesn't get molded again. All the mold is now gone. It's been in, in here for about a year. But this oak tree, you can't see right here, drops acorns and it really puts stuff all over her car. So we really need a car inside because her, her 15 Acura only has 66, 62,000 miles. So I'm going to give her the choice. Does she want the shelves or does she want the cabinet? And then uh, I'll get Jacob will probably put the cabinet together. My son, if y'all don't know, I have a 25 year old rocket scientist who lists for me every day. Uh, big help with this truck and trailer as he, as he helped me carry everything over there. This is the end for now. I'm going to close this video out. I didn't want to be too terribly long. Man, I'm looking. I hope this video comes across on screen as it does as good in this phone. Man, this 15 plus really can take a great video, especially the front camera. The front camera is absolutely amazing. It was a lot of work yesterday. I had 18,000 steps. Me. Y'all heard the acorn hit the top of the truck? That crazy tree. Look at all these. Look at all the acorns. And I've, I've blown this driveway off twice this week. So, yeah, you can get a concussion out here. And once I get the other side done, I will, I'll make a shorter video, maybe a couple minutes, just going over how I find, everything is finally set up. Because the other thing I haven't done yet is underneath the TV in there, I've got to, uh, I've got to clean that up. I've got a lot of sto inventory store there that just needs to go. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, the one thing I can tell you in, in, in closing is most people will tell you subscribe and all that stuff. The one thing I'm going to tell you is try to leave you with the words of wisdom at every video. and. Don't wait as long as I did. Don't let your inventory overwhelm you. Figure out a way out of it. The best best thing I've done is, you know, oh my God, Peter's got three storage buildings. But one of them is full of inventory that I'm going to start picking out of every day, which gives me this, gives me an, okay, so it's very expensive to rent places and power and all this stuff. I pay for power for this building already anyway. I pay, so for an extra $90 a month. So just think about that. My buildings only cost $270 a month. It's not like that's less than the, the cost of renting space. And I don't have to have electricity or any of that stuff. Uh, so figure out a way that's cost effective for you and your business. And uh, man, it's starting to rain. I'm going to have to load the trailer up. I didn't count on that. And move forward. Take the clutter out of your lives. Organize. Do what's, do what's best for you and your business, man. I'm excited for the future. All right. Roll Tide.